Well, we're back again. We've just completed Romans chapter four, uh, and we were dealing on the subject of justification by faith. Uh, today, I want you to open God's holy scripture to Romans chapter five. Uh, and to understand, when we look at Romans, we have to understand we live in a postmodern world uh, or a postmodern worldview. And, and what that really means is there are so many today, the world is re-examining the word of God. That is, they're re-examining how the culture is supposed to live contrary to the word of God. And, and so postmodernism can change many things in our society, but it can never change the word of God. Uh, I believe we must have a clear understanding of Paul's claim about justification if we are to understand what he meant when he speaks about justification by faith. The scriptures, as we read it, reveals that we are trapped. We are, we are trapped and hopeless unless God rescues us. Uh, the, in God's plan of saving us, we are justified and therefore we are no longer under condemnation. God has rescued us so we can be free in Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, your word tells us you set the captives free. It is through the blood of Jesus Christ we are justified. Help us to believe it. Help us to live it. Help us to enjoy the freedom we have in your precious son, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we ask it all. Amen. In the first chapter, in the first 11 verses, Paul completes his case that God justifies sinners on the basis of faith alone. And let me just take a few minutes to read those verses, starting in verse one of Romans chapter five. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our suffering because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous man, though for a good man, someone might possibly dare to die. Verse eight, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we, now, since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? Verse 10, for if when we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Verse 11, now only is this so but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. May the Lord bless the reading of his glorious, glorious word. Justification by grace through faith is defined as God's declaration that sinners are made right with him through faith in Christ, whose life, death, and resurrection provides forgiveness of sin and the righteousness God desires of his people. It is a righteousness that, listen to this, assigned to our account. And it's important to note that. God provides everything we need, everything needed for the sinner to be made right with him. Whether we are struggling 
with legalism, lawlessness, or despair, a biblical understanding of justification will lead us away from ourselves to the God who accepts us fully, how? In Christ. Sanctification, on the other hand, is righteousness worked out in, the, in and through our lives by the person of the Holy Spirit. Justification, think, listen to this carefully, justification is our standing before God. Sanctification is our state here on earth before others. Justification never changes. Sanctification does. Notice in the first 11 verses, the blessings we have in justification. Verse 1 tells us we have peace with God. Verse 10 says there was a time when we were enemies. But now in Christ, we have peace with God. Peace with God means that our problem with sin has been settled by the blood of Christ. God is our father, and now he is not our judge. Verse 2 tells us we have access to God. Before our salvation, we stood in Adam and were condemned. But now in Christ, we have a perfect standing before God and can enter into his presence because we've accepted what Christ did for us. Continuing, continuing in verse 2, and you can look at it as I'm speaking, before our salvation, literally, we, we boast in the hope Scripture says that the unsaved person, the unsaved person is without hope. We are without hope. We have nothing to boast about unless we're boasted in the wonderful salvation God has given us in Christ. It is by grace we are saved through faith, and it is not of ourselves. It is a gift of God. If we look at verse 3 and 4 in this same text. It says not only hope, but we have a daily confidence. What Paul is saying here is that we boast in our trials and tribulations. Well, let me ask you, what trials are you going through right now? The true Christian not only has hope in the, for the future, but he has confidence in the present trials of life today. The formula looks like this. Trials plus Christ equals patience. Patience plus Christ equals character. That's experience. Experience plus Christ equals hope. Now notice in these verses, we do not glory over the trials or about the trials, but in the trials. You know, I, I'm always reminded, and I share this with people all the time, and, and when you think about the story of Daniel in the Old Testament, and, and, and Daniel was a praying man, and, and the Bible says he prayed twice a day. And, and there was this edict that was put out for anybody who prayed uh, to their God that, that they would be thrown into the lion's den. And of course, Daniel doing what he always does, he went to pray, and I'll use a modern term, they busted him out. And, and, and he was required to go into the lion's den. And if you read the text, you'll notice that Daniel never said a word in the trial. And he went into the lion's den. Now, what I like about this text is Daniel never tried to get out of the lion's den in the trial. See, sometimes God wants us to stay in the trial in order for him to be glorified. And the next day, as when, when the king got up, he went to see if Daniel was still alive. And, and, and Daniel called out to him, said, King, don't, don't worry yourself. I'm still here. God made the lion my pillow. And then Daniel went on to tell him he had done nothing wrong. You notice how Daniel told him after the fact? You see, sometimes the trials that we're going through 
God wants us in them so he can get the glory. And, and so that's what the text is telling us here in verses three and four is that we don't glory over the trial. We don't glory about the trial, but we glory in the trial. And the fifth blessing of justification, verses five through 11. Watch this. We experience the love of God. How? Well, if you read the text again, the spirit of God within pours God's love to us and through us. God revealed his love at the cross when Christ died for those who without was, were without strength and were ungodly. They were un, not only were we without strength, we were ungodly and we were sinners and we were enemies of God, thereby proving his great love. Now, Paul's point is this. If God did all of this for us while we were his enemies, how much more will he do for us now that we are his children? Verse 9 tells us how. We are saved by Christ's death, but we are also saved, verse 10, by his life. Think about it. As the power of his resurrection operates in, a, in our lives, we have received, verse 11, reconciliation. Reconciliation is best explained as we read 2 Corinthians 5, 18 through 21. And now the love of God is experienced in our lives. You see, reconciliation is the settlement. So verses 1 through 11 explains the blessings of justification. Now, when we get into verse 12 through 21, we'll explain the foundation of justification and the source of that justification. We'll see you next time.